Five Premier League wins in a row for Manchester United, and this weekend we've got bottom of the table, West Brom. Adam Pardew's been sacked. They have a caretaker manager. Are Man United going to get three points? I think they will. Here is who I think is going to start. So in goal, obviously, David De Gea, man, that save against Man City, that Aguero save, unreal from the guy. He has made so many of those this season. We all know he's the best goalkeeper in the world and everybody else does now too. Now, right back, Valencia, left back, Ashley Young. Don't know what's happened to Luke Shaw. He's gone back out of the squad completely effectively. Mourinho really doesn't seem to like Luke Shaw. But Antonio Valencia, he'll definitely start. And Chris Smalling and Eric Bai, my centre-back partnership. We saw Chris and Mike Smalling against Man City, didn't we? You know, it was a poor bit of marking on company for that first goal. He made up for it by scoring the winner, but the mark of a centre-back's good performance shouldn't be whether or not he scored, it should be his defending. And that was poor against Man City in the first half. Certainly improved in the second, but Smalling needs... To, I don't know what Smalling needs to do, but I do think we need a new centre-back in the summer to partner Eric Bai, United's best centre-back. Think he'll definitely start now. I love him. He's an absolute madhead, and I love him. Bai and Smalling as my two centre-backs. Now, I'm going for a midfield two instead of a midfield three, as we did have against Man City. And the Herrera came in there, but I think it's going to be Matic and Pogba in a midfield two against West Brom this weekend. The reason I'm saying that is because I think we'll drop that extra man in midfield because we don't need it. Against City, we needed that, and Herrera had an absolutely outstanding performance. Deserves to start this game, really, but I don't think we'll play with a midfield three. I think we'll play with two, with three in front, and then one striker up front. Obviously, Romelu Lukaku, I'm going to go Martial out on the left. I'm going to go Sanchez in the middle and Mata on the right. Now, Martial has been in the press this week because uh, reports coming out from France are suggesting that he wants to leave Manchester United. So now seems like the perfect time for Mourinho to put him into the team and let Martial do what he does best because he has been fantastic this season. I think he's got 10 goals, 11 assists, something like that. An excellent return, especially for a player who has had relatively little game time in comparison to other players. And Sanchez, he's been fantastic in the last couple of games, hasn't he? Involved in pretty much all of our goals against City. And he's got a goal against Swansea the week before and an assist as well. Sanchez has been a slow start for him at Manchester United, but it looks like he's settling into his stride now. And United fans are loving it. Now, I'm going to play one matter on the right-hand side just to give us a bit more possession. You could start Rashford there. And that's probably one hell of a front four of Rashford, Martial, Sanchez and Lukaku, but I think he'll play Mata just so that we can slow it down if we need to. Maybe not. Maybe Rashford will start as well. Let me know who you would start, Rashford or, Ma or Mata on the right-hand side. Let me know in the comments. And up front, Romelu Lukaku. No questions asked. That's my predicted start at 11 for the game against West Brom this weekend. Who would be in your team? Who would you start? Who would you leave out of this team that I have put in there? Let me know in the comments below, as always. If you're new, drop a like on the video, ladies and gents. It always helps. Subscribe to United People's TV. See you soon.